Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Happy Sunday. Uh, today I'm going to do a Chaos Ribbon Swipe, but I'm going to change up the, the base coat. Normally I do a solid base coat. Today I'm going to change up the base coat and do a Prussian blue and white mixture, kind of giving a, it's kind of like a, a very, almost like a very light Payne's Gray tone. Um, just kind of creating some different uh, base coat to try to see if I can get a different outcome. Um, but I'm using pinks and purples today. I was looking back at my past videos. A lot of them recently are, are blue centric. So I want to kind of steer away from the blue, although I am using a blue. Um, I wanted to steer away from that. So hopefully I'm going to get some pinks and purples. Kind of reminds me of some sort of uh, galaxy nebula kind of a feel to it so uh, but the colors today are really really cool so let's get down the canvas I'll show you what I'm talking about be right back all right everyone so what I've got is a 24 by 24 canvas so like I said I want to create a different background for my chaos ribbon pours and I'm not going to do a lot of swiping. I am going to do a few swipes, but I'm not going to do it the way I used to. And I will probably do a little bit of combining of the background with the swipes with my chopstick. Kind of doing a wrecking kind of a thing. Um, so what I want to do is I am going to do Prussian blue as the base coat primarily. I'm gonna need about 20 ounces of paint, but I really want the Prussian blue to be the predominant color. So this is about 16 ounces of paint. Then what I'm gonna do is use white. And I am gonna come in and combine these, kind of blend. I'll take my palette knife. Just kind of do a little kind of giving it a little bit of a light blue. There we go. Kind of bringing in some of that. go so I am gonna still need enough paint on here so that my paint will flow So now I'm going to layer on my colors. So my three colors, four colors, excuse me. I've got Venetian Rose from Amsterdam. I've got Light Rose, Amsterdam. Permanent Red Violet Light, of course, in Amsterdam. And Berry from Deco Art Metallics. So let's... Chaos Ribbon, pour these out everywhere. I noticed a lot of my latest videos have been doing a lot of blue. So I thought I'd change it up a little bit.
definitely come back in with the color. Tell you what I'm gonna do. Let's see. Whatever extra I've got in my Prussian color, just dribble that in there. So what I'll do now is I will take my palette knife and I'm gonna put my cell activator on the back and just kind of do some swipes in different areas. Probably do a little wrecking and go with that route. Just so you guys can see what I'm doing, I'll hold it over like this. And then all I do is just let it run over on palette knife and into the cup. And I can reuse what's in the cup. All right, I think I'll start over here on the edge and I'm gonna just kind of lightly press and come on up and through. Tell you what I'll do, I think I'll do try a swipe with some black. Maybe I'll do it just over here to see how it's gonna react. Start right here on this end. Press. Ah, oh, the black is reacting really good. That might be a better swipe color. I kind of like both though. I think what I'll do is I'll come up from the bottom here and come across that way with the black. Start here on this edge. Okay, I kind of like crossing into it, kind of wrecks it up a little bit. Wow, this is really having a great reaction. I think I'm gonna take a white one and come up that way. big block of paint here and block there but I'm not too worried about it because they're going to get tilted these edges are going to get tilted off so let's do a little swirlies anyways
Give it a little torch. Let's do a little tilting. Weight's really all there in the center. So let's take you up this way. Push this down this side just a bit. Now let's open this up a little bit here in the center. Kind of debating on whether or not I want to put a swipe through there just to break up this. Just going to take some of what's left on this black, pour it onto a little palette knife.
There we go. Now we're talking, breaking up that middle, stretching it out a little bit. I was able to lose a little more paint too. There's a little bit of extra paint on there that did not need to stay. That streak that I swiped through there, that opened up is now panning across. You can really see that through there. Really cool. Let's clean up the edges, torch, and I'll bring you guys in. Okay guys, here we are with the wet result. I'm loving this. The cells, how they opened up. I'm loving the center, how it streaks across there. Let me show you up here. I'll start in the top. Look at those little red cells. All right, we'll see this when it's dry. All right, everyone, here we are with the dried result. It's a little bit wet still, so I'm gonna do this quick, but really drying nicely, loving the lacing. Colors are completely outside of my comfort zone, but really loving the outcome. All right, everyone, that is it for today's piece. That is it, it's still drying. It's a little bit tacky there in the center, so I can't hold it up here long. But that berry color, the deco art berry, wow, does it really take over a lot, but it's just beautiful. Um, I'm loving the deep blue through here, kind of giving me that, um, just kind of, I don't know, kind of volcanic, um, a galaxy something you'd see out in the space or something I don't know I'm still trying to fit I'm still trying to figure out what what it looks like to me uh, but overall love the piece I'm loving the way it's drying um, the lacing and cells in this is really really cool too so Ooh, it's a little wet down here oops <laughs> the bot I painted earlier today so my table's still wet um, anyways <laughs> All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in for the weekend. Everyone, have a great rest of the day. If you are in New England like I am, you're probably getting pounded with snow. So please stay warm and stay safe. All right, I'll see everyone next week on Wednesday. Have a great day. Bye-bye.